cut it off, show you what it's like on the top. I thought I'm going to make, and I'm going to try and make some mushrooms now, or toadstools, whatever you want to call them. I used to make these a few years ago, and I haven't made them for years, so to be honest, I've pretty much forgotten how to make them. So Let's see how we get on. I think what I did first was to centre it into a column. column being the stalk which I'll trim down really I'll make that a lot narrower once I start to turn it but I'll need to keep it quite thick for stability and then what I think I did was like I say I can't remember just to get this bit and then stretch it out as far as I can Said it's a it's a work in progress. And now I'm going to bring it down to make a sort of mushroomy shape and hope it doesn't collapse. So if you want a sort of domed top. To do that, so we'll have one that shape for a start. <laughs> like I said, it's uh, it's a work in progress. I'll show you from the side, and then get an idea. Because tomorrow, like I said, I can I'll be able to turn the stem a lot thinner and put a nicer shape to it so it won't look as numb as that but there we go that's a basic start first one must be three years since I've even tried one of those so I want to try and get one with a, a really rounded top I think now first right so another go so I'm just gonna support it with me with me hand the stem otherwise it'll just go everywhere I'll try and bring this one down first. shape with this one I think. I suppose you can just turn the top up a little bit like that, depends on what you want to do, I mean there's no fixed way I wouldn't have thought. Yeah, I think they look better with a bit of a more of a domed top. So again, as you can see, that's the sort of profile, but I can make this a lot thinner tomorrow, or maybe just turn it so it's a bit round at the bottom. That's not too bad, I don't think. I'll just keep going. Like I said, it's just trial and error with these things. Try another one of those. Mm 
down a bit now so we've got to really push down there to make it I'm trying to look at the one I've already made that I like the look of here yeah, that's more of the shape I think that's a better shape nice as the last one I did but just keep trying see how it works try to think what other shapes you could do let's try another one try another flatter one this time turn it, I'll just show you well slightly, I'm going to turn it sort of round at the bottom so it looks like it's emerging from a from an egg like some of the some of the mushrooms do. Oh yeah, they're very basic but still quite effective. Well right, folks, I'm going to turn some of these mushrooms now. I've just turned one to get it a bit thinner as you can see trouble is I dropped it and it bent it a bit I dropped it when I chopped it off but as you can see I get a bit more meat off the stalk get them a bit more of a refined shape put a bit of a, a bit of a uh, what's the word I'm looking for design on the top so we'll just get on I'll just show you what I'm going to do so I'm just going to use my ribbon tools just to get as much of this thickness off I'll start at the top in fact I'll start at the bottom Getting it thinner, thinner and thinner towards the top. So it looks a bit more like a mushroom. As you can see, I'm taking quite a lot off. I've used this thinner tool to get the stuff at the top off. Still a little bit on the soft side, this clay, but we should get there. So that's made it quite a bit thinner. So I'll just make this, I'll just round this off a little bit at the bottom so it looks like it's coming out of a, like some mushrooms do, look like they're coming out of a roundish thing. 
smoothed it off with the fingers. And then I'm gonna use some bright red colored slip now. It's really garishly red. We'll put that on, I'm just gonna do a simple sort of spiral design. Doesn't mimic anything in life, but something to go. What I would do normally, I'd get some porcelain slip and just drip some little drips on so you get like little white spots on it. But anyway, as you can see, that's narrowed the stalk now. Just cut it off, show you what it's like on the top. And that's the profile, so better than it looked when I was when it was thrown, a lot less chunky. We'll do another one, different sort of shaped one. These would actually be ideal if they were a little bit drier, but I'm just going to get it done anyway. But again, I'm just going to plough in with this tool, take a lot of the thickness off. see because it's underneath the, the cap. It's pretty thin. mushroom this time although it's not going to look blue in real life but there you go artistic whatever blue and red mix just a bit of a swirly pattern <coughs> again we'll cut it off show you the profile a lot cleaner than it was before so there we go, just a couple of little mushrooms turned and I'll try and show you the pictures when they're finished, when they're fired but anyway that's it, just a few little mushrooms Well there we go folks, if I don't manage to fire them and get you in pictures there I'll just show you what they're like before they're fired that's the tops and then there we go with the stalks a few different shapes so there we go folks, just a few little mushrooms.